I think that our species is probably divided into those that are really going to try and maximize on this gift of neuroplasticity. And I think some people leverage it and other people don't. Your high-performing athlete, your high-performing academics, your high-performing business people, they actually have practices that they use in order to not just perform better, but sleep better. And not just to sleep better, but to listen better. This is the time for us and the next generation to step up and to lead people toward a place where we can function better and where the next generation will reflexively function better. Emotions are great. I experience them often intensely. They're not always wonderful to experience, but I think it's clear that the level of autonomic arousal that's associated with emotions, either very high or very low, very happy or very sad, very anxious or very angry, clouds our judgment. They were designed to push us along certain behavioral paths, but they've grown in importance in the last few years. And you know, we could get into a discussion about how you know social media marketing are designed to you know capture these very deep limbic aspects of ourselves, and they are. But what's amazing is everybody has a forebrain. Uh, it, some people, mm -hmm. it seems there's more developed than others, but everybody has one. And we have this capacity for what we call top-down control, which is the ability to intervene in our own feeling states and our own action states and to set some rigor and some real clear marks that we're out to achieve. And I think it's gonna start with the, the generation that's very plastic right now. So I think we need to operationalize what we're gonna teach the next generation. You know, maybe our generation isn't really rescuable, mm -hmm. but maybe the next generation is. And if they understand that there's some concepts that sound a little mushy, like gratitude or mindfulness or these kinds of things, but as long as they understand that, for instance, gratitude involves a whole other neurotransmitter reward system in the brain, the serotonin system, which buffers us against injury, it can improve wound repair, it can allow us to lean back into these high stress regimes. Kids learning how to toggle their nervous system back and forth between highly, you know, duration path outcome focused states of trying to improve and learn and then learning how to really relax and chill mm -hmm. out and enjoy and be socially connected because it will allow them to ratchet back in and focus with mm -hmm. extreme depth. If we can get that information out there, I really believe that at least a subset of those kids will grow up to be the leaders that our species really needs in order to get through this next filter. Mm -hmm. And right now we're feeling the stringency of that filter. And I think our level of autonomic dysregulation as a species says, okay, here's the task. Are you guys gonna figure yourselves out? You got this forebrain. My dog doesn't have the forebrain I've got. Yeah. He can't figure it out, but we can work this out. And it'll involve technologies like devices to measure how we're doing, maybe some machines to guide that. That's a different discussion, but I think it's entirely possible. And I think that's the evolutionary pressure that we're in right now. And I think that the next generation, if they can hear about it and learn about it, is gonna meet that demand. I think that our species is probably divided into those that are really going to try and maximize on this gift of neuroplasticity, right? We're the only species that has neuroplasticity throughout the lifespan. So we were gifted this. And I think some people leverage it and take advantage of it and other people don't. And I think we need to accept that we're not gonna get everybody. But what we need to do is attach the reward systems of society, financial, socioeconomic, et cetera, to the kinds of behaviors that are gonna lead us into the next 100 years and yeah. 200 years. I think that once people start to realize that your high-performing athlete, your high-performing academics, your high-performing business people, they actually have practices that they use to regulate themselves in order to not just perform better, but sleep better, and not just to sleep better, but to listen better, not just listen better, but incorporate ideas that allow them into states of, of creativity and states of mind that really lead to new and exciting ways that humans can interact. There's so much interest now in psychology and the brain and the self in physical fitness, which you know I think it's fair to say is inextricably linked to mental fitness. 2020 is our call to arms and I because I guess I, I do feel that way it's very serious this is this is serious business and this is the time for us and the next generation to step up and you know and to lead people toward a place where they we can function better and where the next generation will reflexively function better that's that beauty of early childhood is that if some of this stuff is taught and passed off it's not gonna be perfect but there'll be a generation of people coming up that will naturally understand 
stress and agitation is taking them off their game and leading to bad decisions and will make the appropriate adjustments. Mm. And there are people that will see the possibility of doing something differently with a terrible childhood or a, a brutal addiction. And, you know, I think we, we need more stories of success. I think it's easy to look out there and see all the things that are going wrong and we need to keep paying attention to those, but we need these beacons that draw people forward. And I say that from a place of experience. I mean, I used to have to find it in books in the bookshelf. I, there was no online back then. You know, you have to forage. I think mm. kids, they have to have that foraging capacity. They can't just sit there and wait for it to rain on them or for a parent to dump it on them. But I trust that they're out there and that they're gonna figure it out.